In August of last year, major cram school operator Yoyogi Seminar announced the closure of 20 of its 27 schools. With Japanese people having fewer children, the number of students who fail and need to retake university entrance examinations has dropped 60% from the peak. That's forcing exam preparation cram schools into a fight for survival. Seven in the evening, a classroom of Meiko Cram School in Fujimidai. They are the biggest provider of individualized instruction, including one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring. The company runs 2,100 classes nationwide for more than 130,000 students. They've grown by teaching pupils how to study effectively, and nearly 100 new classes are opened every year. But last year, the number of students shrank for the first time. There's a steady trend towards fewer children, and there aren't any factors that will make the market grow any bigger. The business environment is tough for everyone. We need to solidify our foundation while also changing the methodology and taking on new challenges. Using its know-how in education, the company has started offering after-school care and study programs for children, an area where there is a significant shortage of options. The children enrolled here number about 70. The basic hours are Monday to Friday between 1 and 7 in the afternoon. The fee is 54,000 yen a month. It's significantly higher than publicly run programs that typically cost just several thousand yen. Still, as they will look after children until 10 in the evening, pick them up from elementary school, and even take them to other lessons, there's a waiting list to get in. Mako plans to start after-school programs in three new locations, tapping into demand from households in which both parents work. Another company, Ichishin Holdings, operates 117 schools, mainly in central Tokyo. They own 15 buildings and have been offering group lessons similar to Yoyogi Seminar, but business is struggling. So now they're shifting to one-on-one -on -one lessons. Still. We've focused on group lessons, so it's been difficult to make the switch. Cram schools don't have big prospects in terms of growing revenue in the future. We have no choice but to diversify just to maintain our current business. The challenge is how well we can keep up with changes in society. Mid-February, being held inside a conference room, we held this meeting because we wanted today's lecture to be as useful to you as possible. Gathered as students are 11 teachers from private junior high and high schools. The company has started offering lectures on teaching methods using tablet devices.